Hi guys, this is Jean. Today, I would like to share with you how you can also lay out your photo books. Here are some of my photo books. This one I have already shared on my video before. I am a fan of photo books. Being a photography enthusiast, I have been compiling my photos and travel pictures as I really like to see them on prints rather than keeping them as digital copy. I have a lot of reasons why I create photo books. First is that I don't have to buy a photo album so you can actually save money for that. Second, they stay for a while, for a long time. I have a photo book which is around 5 to 10 years old now and it's still in good condition. Maybe I will create a separate video explaining to you the reasons why I create photo books. Today, I would like to share with you how you can also lay out your photo books using the desktop application called Photo Book Designer. So let's go to the computer and let's get started. Go to your browser and open this link. Make sure to select the correct country and hit the download button after. Launch the application after the installation and this page will show up. Select create a new project. On this page, you will have to select the category. So for this tutorial, we will select photo books. Hit the next button. And we'll have to select hardcover and soft cover. As you can see, it's priced 1200 but we will find a way in how to buy it in a much more affordable price. Hit the next button. We will select the 8 by 6 inches small landscape soft cover. We can name it according to the project that you are creating. Uh, for this project, I'll name it Taiwan because I am going to add some photos from our Taiwan trip. Sometimes the application takes time to open, so this really requires your patience. All right, so this is the main page. Let's go ahead and check each section. Under file, we can order and set our preferences for this project. We can also exit the project through this menu. The edit has the copy and paste options. Insert is where you can insert elements like picture box, shape, and text box. Page is where you can rearrange the pages. And view shows all the other options that you can do within the application. So to start the project, we need to add the photos first. On the top left hand part, you have a plus button where you can add the pictures. There are options such as sorting the photos, rating them, and even clearing the list. Also you can add from some social media sites and from the computer with either individual or the entire folder containing the pictures. I myself usually just add individual photos. So here I am selecting some pictures just to illustrate to you how you can do it. You can multi-select them and then press the add button. So the images display in the left side of the software. They're in a vertical arrangement. Now we can start dragging the images into the project. These boxes are picture boxes. To add the image into the picture box, just drag and drop them. I usually like my front and back cover to have a continuous style. So you can follow that, but you can also leave the back space empty and just focus on your front page. It actually depends on your preferences. So the images can be adjusted by double clicking on them and that's what I'm doing here. So I want the front and back cover to be of one picture 
and it, it takes a trial and error to perfect the photo. At the top area shows your pages. It has numbers on it and this layout has around 40 pages but you can actually add more if you want. So you just click on each box to move through different pages. Later on you can also rearrange these pages. Or you can also use the arrow button to move to other pages. At the bottom are your page styles. These contains different picture box styles where you can add your photos. Don't worry, you can actually resize the boxes and even make your own custom box. So you can just drag your preferred picture box into the page. My favorite picture box though is a whole page because in that way I am making use of all the spaces. Just a reminder, make sure to always save your project when making changes. It's better safe than sorry. The only thing with this desktop software is that it has the tendency of lagging, especially when you're moving to different pages and if you add more items on the page. Another thing that you can add are text. Just press the A plus button. Add your text and customize this accordingly from the options on the right side. Select your preferred fonts and size. And then you can also move the text box to whichever area as long as within the white part of this page. The purple areas are actually the borders so if you go beyond that, the photo will not be printed. So basically, the program is set for drag and drop images which is really really easy and very user friendly. And if you use a photo more than once, you'll find the number in red on each photo to increase. So as you can see here, I have used the first photo twice. It shows a number 2 in it. So again, you can use the cursor or just click on each pages to move from one page to another. On pages, you can also press the rearrange page so you can modify which page would come first and which is last. Another thing to note is the program allows you to change the product. So this may be a little complicated but we will deal with that in the future video. Again, make sure to save the project and you're good to go for ordering the photo book. I'll make a separate video as well on how you can send the order and pay only a few pesos for this specific layout. Once done, you can just close the project and you're back at the first screen. Alrighty, so that's it guys. I hope you learned something about how you can also lay out your photo book. As you can see, it's very, very easy. So I know you can also create one and I'll share with you some tips on how you can purchase and order these photo books in a very cheap and affordable price. Don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe and bell button so you will be notified with my future videos. See you next time. Take care and God bless.